If you have ever found your guitar difficult to play, you're not alone. In fact, you might just need a guitar setup. When a guitar's action is too high, it's pretty much impossible to play. So action is the height of the strings above the fretboard. Thankfully, this type of thing can be adjusted. And in this video, we're gonna teach you, with the help of our pro luthier friend, Marshall Bernay, how to do a guitar setup at home. So Marshall, lots of people find their guitars difficult to play, but don't even realize that they can have it improved. What type of things do you do when someone takes their guitar to you and says, hey, make this easier to play? The first thing I look at is the height of the string above the first fret. When this is depressed, it should be the same height over here. So if it's more than that, it's going to be hard to play. Okay. And most factory instruments are set up difficult to play because they don't want them to buzz. Wow. The next step, I look at the saddle. The saddle is this white piece of material here, usually bone. Yeah. Uh, on cheaper guitars, this is usually some type of synthetic material like plastic. And this can come out. Absolutely. And you can also change the size of it, which changes the strings on the bridge side. That's right. And so I will also look and see how much saddle is left to go down. Beyond that, we're talking major surgery. So if your guitar doesn't pass this criteria or this criteria, I don't advise going any further on your own. Then you need a Marshall. But playability is so important. And if you watch our video that Marshall and I did comparing guitars blindfolded, you'll really get a sense of how important playability is. In fact, at some point I picked a guitar which was very playable thanks to the work that Marshall did on it, which was only $300 over a guitar, which cost thousands of dollars, which was badly in need of a setup because I felt it fighting me. So it's the most important thing, the playability, and a setup is what can get you to have that beautiful, easy to play guitar. That's right. You don't need a $15,000 guitar to play well. You just need a good setup. So since playability is so important, in this video, Marshall has generously offered to show us what we can all do at home using common household tools to make your guitar more playable. So should we go to the shop? Yeah, let's go. All right. I know that you've seen a lot of Brandon's videos on this guitar and he's played beautifully, but I think I can make this better. First things first, I'm looking at the nut. I'm looking at the saddle. I want to see kind of how high the action is as a whole. So I'm seeing with these gut strings, which are exceptionally delicate, that there's a little bit of a sharp edge on this nut. So what I'm going to want to do is round that over if need be. And then from there, I'm looking at the action. So on the sixth string, three and three quarters. And then on the first string is one, two and three quarters. So to the top of the fret, to the underside of the string. I think we can get this down because I'm looking down the neck and it's got a good curvature. You don't ever want to see a neck that's dead straight. So what I'm seeing is I can take down the saddle a little bit and I can adjust the nut to the string, each string to make sure that it fits properly. And then once I do that, I'm going to polish this up and make sure that this string doesn't continue to fray. This is actually causing a very moderate amount of falseness over the entire length of the string. So it may not be noticeable, but it's there. So uh, I'm going to just take down the, the strings. All right. So now that the strings are completely loose, I should be able to slip the saddle right out. These should never, ever be glued in. If you glue in a saddle, I'm coming for you. So I want to lower the action a little bit. Use a hard service. We're going to take some 120 grit sandpaper and we're just going to hold it down. What we're going to do is very carefully make sure that the saddle is balanced on the, across the bottom. And since I want to lower the base side of this a little bit more, I'm going to grab it on the base side and just very carefully stand back and forth in order to remove the material. Now this material actually does come off fairly quickly. So be careful. We're gonna just continue sanding through this saddle a bit. We don't wanna take off too terribly much because it's pretty close and that's all that we need. Now we also wanna make sure that the bottom surface is square to each edge because if it's at this angle or at this angle too much, it's not gonna make good contact with the bottom of the saddle slot. So we're gonna give this a try. We took off uh, probably about a little bit over a quarter of a millimeter, which means it'll bring it down about a 10th here, which will make it noticeably easier to play. So 
we're gonna just take that slide it back in we'll give this a little quick measure yeah that took it down to about 3.3 millimeters on the bass string so that'll be a lot nicer now this guitar i don't feel like it needs any adjustment at the nut but if it's too high again you could do the same technique or if you've got a hobbyist set of files like this you can use one of these to very carefully work the nut very very carefully this is a hobbyist file and it's got a nice grit on this corner which is what you want to use so what i'm doing right now is i'm looking at the very corner of the the nut where it should be vibrating from and i'm actually seeing that it's rounded this way which a lot of companies like to do because it looks very very nice but what it doesn't do is go give a good edge for the string to vibrate from so you're actually losing sound if those are too rounded over and you have a very indistinct edge for the string to roll on so again you can see right here it's vibrating from here not here and i'm not lowering the front of the slot at all i'm just crispening up that edge so that it has a more distinct place to vibrate from I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure onto it. I'm just putting enough to make sure that it stays engaged. Okay, so now that this has been adjusted, I'm gonna wanna polish this. So in order to do that, uh, I am going to employ the use of a string and a little bit of car polish. We're just gonna put a little tiny drop. So you're gonna get your little inner shoe shine going and shoe shine this this way it's taking away any and all rough edges and again this is a mild abrasive so you don't want to do this too terribly much and what this is going to do is polish the inside of that slot so that way we can remove any of these sharp edges that are cutting brandon's very expensive gut strings so that's what you're going to do if your nut is too high to the first fret, you wanna lower the slots down. And that is only to the first fret. It's not gonna change anything downstream on the guitar. So if your nut is too low and you're constantly buzzing at your first string, what you want to do is to get a Luthier approved business card. You can only use a Luthier approved business card. And what you're gonna do, typically it's the fifth and sixth string that are going to be too low. So you're gonna just wanna bring it up ever so slightly. And believe it or not, one of these normal business cards is just the right thickness most of the time to get things taken care of. So I like to use this ultra thin super glue for doing this operation, but you don't have to go out and buy this. You can use uh, some regular old wood glues, or if you're feeling very creative and arts and craftsy, you can just cut out a piece of this and stick it under there. It's not going to affect the sound at all, I can promise you. So normally I'm just gonna glue this in and then I use a knife to cut it out. I suggest just cutting it apart and putting one or two pieces in. If you get past two pieces of shim material, come see me or another luthier who knows what they're doing. Okay, after that, it starts to get ridiculous. So yes, you can, Put a shim under here, you can put a shim under here. 99.999 times out of 100, you're not gonna hear the difference. I can't, and I suppose we've established that I've got okay ears. You can always raise the action a little bit. You can always drop the action a little bit. Don't go overboard. A little piece of paper will do way more than you think. So at this point, all we have to do is get the nut back on and you have to make sure that it's like a ramp going to the front and likewise with the saddle that it's a ramp going to the front you don't want it to be backwards like this because then i get people calling me saying i have an intonation issue and it's because they put the nut on backwards or the saddle or both so make sure that it's going the right way at this point in time this is when i highly recommend putting a drop of three in one oil onto your guitar what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a drop of oil right where the worm meets the gear. Just one drop on every roller. Once you have that on, you'll notice that your tuning machines run a lot smoother and you've just increased the lifespan of your tuning machines by a long time. You'd be amazed at how many tuning machines 
wear out prematurely because they don't have a drop of oil put on them once a year. And at that point, your guitar is done. That's the most home setup that I would recommend doing beyond that. Bring it by. If you want to clean it up, just use a little bit of water and a cotton towel. It's that simple. No waxes, no polishes, no moisturizers, rejuvenators, none of that. That's all going to make my job harder if you ever have to bring it in. Mark Riddle, thanks so much for being so generous and helping out all of my YouTube followers and showing them how they can do this at home. This has been super helpful. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime, I'm happy to help. And if any of you have any questions, feel free to reach out and contact me off of my website. And for $500 off, use promo code Brandon. Uh, that's good for any new guitar. And, you know, I'll talk you through this if you have any questions. Thanks, Marshall. Thanks, Brandon.